Greetings and welcome back to Switch to Linux. So today we are going to look at how to fix the EFI bootloader in the event you run into the problem that your BIOS is stupid and does not allow you to uh, either manually edit files or it doesn't seem to logically know where to look for things. And so what we want to do is um, have a look at where and how to make the adjustments. I've wanted to do a video on this several times and uh, mostly because I always have to research how to fix this again. So the problem is that, you know, I'm doing something else, maybe I'm installing another distro, I'm experimenting with another hard disk, whatever, and the uh, the EFI partition on the, or the, the EFI settings that loads your operating systems on your motherboard starts to get confused. And this would happen to me on the old system quite a bit. And so I've had to learn how to do this manually. So there is a Linux application that will allow you to, um, uh, it will allow you to uh, see what is loading in the uh, EFI manager. So if I go ahead and click EFI boot MGR, the EFI boot manager, you'll see that I have a few different options there. There's four items in here, two, three, four, and five. And the priorities are five goes first, then two, then three, then four. Now you'll see that I have the uh, the UEFI SanDisk partition. The reason is the operating system, uh, this computer will not boot off of my hard disk right now uh, because the EFI uh, boot manager got confused. And uh, so what I ended up doing to fix that as a temporary fix is my system has zero problems booting off of any USB key. So I just grab my banking computer, boot it into that, and then I run um, sudo update grub and then reboot the computer and then in your grub menu now is the option to boot into this operating system. So that's always my fallback is use that operating system that'll allow me to get into into this uh, this system here. Uh, but I don't want to do that on a regular basis. I prefer my default push the button and the computer turns on. Hello. Um, so we're going to go ahead and attempt a fix for this. So what we want to do is first, if you go into the EFI boot manager and dash V, it will give us kind of the breakdowns. So you'll notice the second entry there, 003, is the hard disk, and it's not particularly clear what is going on there, and it should actually be fairly clear. It should look a little bit more like what we're seeing in the uh, partition that's working, the SanDisk partition. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, first make sure that we have some applications installed. Uh, if you do not have the EFI boot manager, go ahead and install that. So EFI boot MGR, and then the other application you want is grub-EFI. So those are the two things you want. Now, one of the steps we don't necessarily have to do because we already have one of the files, and that's if you're looking at my uh, looking at my system there, the grub-install. Um, uh, actually, that. I'm not sure that should be grub install. Yeah, that should be grub install. I'm sorry. Um, you need you need the grub EFI to get the grub install to work with the EFI partitions. What that's going to do is that's going to create our grub x64 in our boot directory. Um, that's kind of the thing that we need. So what we need to do is we want to see where the drives are. We always want to start with that. So we're going to do sudo fdisk-l, and this is going to give us a readout on our drives. Now, I unplugged the USB drive we booted the computer on, so now we only have one hard drive, SDA, and the part first partition is the boot partition. So I'm going to want to, um, I'm going to, want to install that into... Uh, into the boot. This this is what's going to work for the grub install. A few of these steps we're not going to do entirely. Uh, but if we do uh, sudo mount um, <clears throat> forward slash dev slash sda uh, one, I'm sorry, and then for, uh, mount that to boot, that's going to go ahead and mount the boot partition into the boot directory. Now to get into that directory, we need elevated privileges. So I'm just going to do sudo dash i, get myself elevated privileges. Um, I've already been in here messing around, so um, I don't have to enter my password. You would have to enter your password the first time. So now I'm going to have a look at the boot directory. And you'll see that in boot directory, we have one folder called EFI. We're going to go into EFI. Oop. And then now I have one which is Ubuntu. So inside Ubuntu, you'll see that we have my grub x64 EFI. Now, if you don't already have that, then you need to run that grub install 
uh, tell it which uh, where you're going. So the dev uh, slash SDA target x86 64 EFI. That's going to create the EFI bootloader for everything. That's already functioning on the disk. The problem is the computer can't find it. Now, on my Dell computer, which has a much better BIOS, I can actually go in there and say, oh, you're having trouble finding it. Here it is, and I can go build it from the BIOS. It makes perfect sense. No, that's too complicated for now at modern day users, so we can't do that. So what we're gonna do is now that we already know where our file is, and you can see that our directory to get to that is EFI Ubuntu grubs x64.efi. So now what we need to do is we need to create an entry in our boot manager. So I'm gonna go EFI boot MGR and C creates the new uh, the new entry. And then we're going to do dash D and we're going to do dev slash SDA, which is gonna call the disk. And then we want the partition, which is partition number one. The dash capital L gives me the label. I'm gonna call this Linux Mint. And then I need to do a lowercase l. I believe this gets our, uh, gets our file. I forget what the lowercase l was, I apologize. So that's EFI um, slash Ubuntu slash, and notice that these are back slashes, not forward slashes. We want grub x64.efi. So what that's gonna do is that now adds um, as boot 0000, Linux Mint, and then changes the boot order. So now in theory, if I were to shut down the computer and reboot, it should boot right on back into this. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the video. I'm going to double check that. Hopefully this brief little video helps you do that if you are running into the same problem. Um, and again, follow this step here if you don't already have that, uh, that item loaded. Uh, that step is, is going to help you there. So thanks for watching this. Uh, once again, you can help support the channel at um, uh, support, um, excuse me, switchlinux.com forward slash support. I have some shirts, mugs, things like that, mouse pads at shop.switchlinux.com. And I'm also on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Tom M. So thanks for watching and hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.